So you can add geometric shapes to Affinity Designer using the shape tools. So these range from the basic rectangle and ellipse uh, shapes to the more complex stars and cog shapes. In this example, uh, I want to introduce some shapes to this kind of icon design here. And the shapes are actually located here on the left. So I'm just touring over them. We've got rectangle tool, ellipse tool, rounded rectangle tool and triangle tool with a whole series of other tools available off there. But I'm going to choose a rectangle tool and I'm going to draw out a rectangle uh, which is freely um, drawn rather than constrained to any particular uh, aspect ratio such as square. However, if I press the shift key, as I drag out I will be able to draw a square as opposed to a rectangle. So I'll just leave that as is, position it. I'll also be able to draw an ellipse. So just go over here and then just drag out an ellipse. In this case, again using the shift key, I want a perfect circle. So I'll drag out to about there and release and then reposition into this area here. I'll just size it a little bit smaller to there using the command key on Mac and control key on Windows to uh, size from center. Okay, that's great. So now we need to just create a, uh, a cog shape and we can go over to the uh, the cog tool and uh, just sizing from center here again we'll just drag outwards with the shift key also pressed to uh, maintain aspect ratio of that we'll just draw out and create this cog. Now once we've released the mouse button you'll see that there are these uh, five red circles and you can use these to modify that cog shape. The cog shape by its nature is quite complex and you can make many many different shape variations so experiment with this shape and uh, enjoy the uh, variations you can make. Um, you can see we can just drag inwards slightly, outwards, bring that back to there, rounding off the edges. You can change the number of teeth as well just by the context toolbar here. continue to just develop here but I kind of want a, a kind of a still a cog type shape so I'll just leave that as that. Just take that down to the center. So I'm happy with that cog shape and now I want to introduce a, a triangle and I can come back over and pick the um, triangle tool and just Draw out the triangle anywhere really. Again, okay, with the shift key pressed to constrain it, we can rotate and just pick up that tool, drag it to center, size it, and give it a grey colour. Okay, one final thing I wanted to show you was this uh, rectangle in the background here. Um, we can modify this uh, rectangle um, by rounding off its corners and we can change this by, from the context toolbar, changing the rounding. And we can change the degree of rounding too. So you get more of an icon shape. Um, if you wanted to, you can explore other different shapes to make a straight uh, corner, concave corner or a cutout. So just a final couple of points uh, related to the different variations of shapes that you can create like the cog tool. Um, with this particular uh, series of shapes I'm just drawing out here you can get a sense of uh, how you can manipulate the shapes by adjusting 
the little red handles uh, that you get on the shape. So by the same token, you can get this kind of uh, variation and changing the number of sides and say for this uh, triangle tool I can create right angled triangles etc. Incidentally if there is a shape that you really like to save for future use uh, for instance uh, if we select this uh, shape here and go back to change it to that kind of a shape um, we can save that uh, via this presets option on the context toolbar we'll just click that for the moment First, we need to create a, a category, uh, that's uh, best practice, so it will select Manage Presets, Create Category, let's see My Shapes, Create, let's close that down, and then go back into the cog uh, icon, and then just select Create Preset, and you'll be able to say, uh, we'll call this a uh, uh, my shape one. Choose the category that you've just created, my shapes, and click create. So if we go back and create a shape of that type, so we'll draw a new polygon, and just like that. Then go up to the option and you'll find the shapes already saved for me, and I can click that to apply that shape. Incidentally, there are other presets on there, so I can jump through there and make use of these.